Welcome to this webcast to look at the remote desktop and VDI features of Windows Server 2008 R2. And I'd like to just show you what I have set up on my computer here. So I've got three virtual machines at the bottom, Oxford Desktop, Oxford Broker and Oxford DC. And the last machine there is actually a remote desktop session into another computer uh, and that's running Hyper-V with my uh, VDI uh, virtual machines on. Now if we look at Oxford Desktop you can see we're looking at IIS Manager here and you can see we've got a uh, site on here called RD Web for Remote Desktop Web and this is the successor to TS Web Access. One of the things we'll see is that uh, everywhere we used to talk about terminal services we now talk about remote desktop so remote desktop services is actually made up of a number of subcomponents two of those are installed on this computer so we've got the session host as it says it hosts sessions in other words it provides a whole remote desktop or remote applications to users and that's the bit we used to call the terminal server and we've got web access formerly TS Web Access which provides a portal for users to access the resources that are available on that server. Now in the previous version of uh, Terminal Services we were able to configure servers to be part of a farm and this machine isn't part of a farm and it doesn't use a remote desktop connection broker. That piece is going to become important when we actually look at the connection broker uh, in a couple of minutes time. But first we're going to look at remote apps. So if we go to remote app manager here and you can see each of the settings we need to set has, be, has got some information by it and you can see there's a warning here that I haven't configured a digital certificate to sign the little RDP files that come down to the remote desktop client. You can also see that I've said offer the user a full remote desktop as well as remote apps and down the bottom these are the remote app programs that I've got configured I can add additional programs to that list just by right clicking and choosing add remote app program and then remote app will look through what's installed on my machine and say well which of these uh, options do you want to offer out to users um, you can see I haven't put anything particularly interesting on this computer so I've just shared out Paint and WordPad. Let's have a look at that from a client's point of view and I'm actually running the client uh, in Internet Explorer on my domain controller not a usual thing to do but fine for my purposes and you can see just to give myself a bit more room I've hidden some bits of the uh, at the top of Internet Explorer and, and I've hidden the taskbar as well. Now make a mental note of the name here and you can see my, my two programs and my remote desktop so let's start one of them and it tells me that this RDP file hasn't been signed I pointed out I haven't installed a certificate before but pretty much instantaneous start for the app there and I have cheated now we do tell you when we cut little bits out of the video or we speed the video up I haven't done that here but it's much quicker to open the second and subsequent applications in a remote desktop session than it is to open the first and you can see these two instances of WordPad the first one was already open and down on the taskbar we get a little bit more information to make it clear that this is a remote application and also the server that it's coming from and over in the notification area we can disconnect from servers so we can also see from that list which ones we are connected to but we get this shortcut to control panel and we can miss out the web portal completely on Windows 7 or uh, equivalent including the server product by putting in the address of a feed where we can get information about these applications and desktops so what this is doing is it's going off to the server it's downloading some information to tell it what I icons to set up on the start menu for those programs and desktops and you can see two programs one desktop just what we had before um, the source and a quick bit of information about how to use it easiest way to see that is actually to go to the start menu so let's have a look at the start menu and under all programs you can see remote app and desktop connections and there I've got paint remote uh, desktop and 
my uh, WordPad client and again pretty quick starting paint over the uh, remote connection. Now if I want to remove that it's even easier to remove than it was to set up I just come back to control panel and I can click remove and it's gone again. Now while I've been doing this we'll actually notice that the remote desktop client has timed out and signed us out. So I'm going to sign back in again and as you can see I'm signing in as administrator and I'm going to have a look at the configuration in a second. Just remember what the name was here, Remote Desktop Services and remember that we've got three icons. So I'm going to go to configuration I'm going to change the class of machine I'm connecting to to a connection broker and I'm going to put the broker's name in here and when I go back you'll see that an extra 